be getting to bed soon. Well, you can't stay here. <laughs> of course I can. It's my place. I thought we went over this. For all intents and purposes, you are me. The neighbours will ask questions if I'm walking Molly to school every day. So what are you saying? You want me to move in? I'm sorry. None of this is ideal. <laughs> the more I think this through, the more problems there are. What about work? I can't keep calling in sick. I'm guessing you have a job too. Well, I know, but I just haven't got that far yet. If you've got a suggestion, let's hear it. On Monday, we're going to have to cover for each other. I'm going to have to pretend to be you, and you're going to have to pretend to be me. Previously on Last Stop. Are you right, babe? Yeah, just had a long day. My babe saving the world again, is she? The most exciting desk job there is. See, you've met Amy. Is that her name? She's getting fast tracked. What? I've decided to include Amy in the selection process. Let's see who comes out on top. life inside the military industrial complex blown up any babies with your death robots this week no sorry but hey maybe when you overthrow the government you can have me thrown in the gulag that might cheer you up all I see in the news these days is robots <laughs> robots killing people robots taking jobs robots having sex with people you know, in my day, we'd have balloted if someone tried to give a job to a bloody robot. Strong industrial action is what we need. Did you get your test results back from Dr. Lund? That's another thing that's gone to the dogs. The state of the health service in this country! Okay, before you get deep into another one of your rants, do you fancy going for a walk? Oh, Nini, you're just trying to shut me up? Well, I won't fall for it. Let's go look at some birds, you miserable old sod. Hmm. Well, don't dawdle. Lead on. Why do I never get to see my grandson? Dad, he visits you at least once a month. But you come over here every day. Some of us are sadomasochists, clearly. Have you still got your allotment here? Bastards took it away from me. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Dare I ask why? The fascist closed ranks and forced me out. Didn't have the stomach for my radical proposals. And there it is.
you go, comrades. Get your beaks around this manky old bread. Dad, I wanted to ask something. I call these two Tony and Alistair. Mangy old bear. Did you or Mum ever have a... affair? What? I'm not gonna judge. It's fine. I'm sure all marriages have their difficult moments. Where did you get that idea? Our marriage was strong. Your mother shone like gold. You know... She saw the beauty in all things, Nini. No matter how cracked and broken. <laughs> Spending 40 years seeing the world through her eyes was a privilege. She was always so patient with us. Do you remember that mobile we made together? <laughs> the one I tore down in the strop. <laughs> Seabirds of the British Isles. I got it from the RSPB. Oh, your mother loved coming here to feed the birds. You know, everything took a turn for the worse when she left us. Yeah. But we all have to push forward. You had a loving family. I don't know why you turned out like you did. It's getting chilly. We should get you back inside. <laughs> Had enough of me, I see. Okay. Take me home. I, uh, imagine you're in a hurry to get back to work. No, I'm done for the day. Good. You'll have time for a couple then. I had Julia come round here the other day. You know, Julia from the book club. Anyway, she was trying to get me to sponsor her boy to climb some hill in South America. Can you believe the cheek of it? What does climbing a mountain, let alone traveling all the way to Argentina, have to do with charity? They've got it the wrong way around. I'm not paying for someone to have a lavish holiday. Who do they think they are? It's an insult, to be honest. And if you want a holiday, you can have a weekend in Wales like the rest of us. Don't be shy. I'll have a little more sh Keep it coming. A little more. Seriously? Nini, fetch the chocolate biscuits. What is this?